Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ducati Biker. I'm here with my good friend Russell. Russell, thank you for having what's me up, over. Buddy? And for today's topic, if you're new here to the channel, our main goal is to spread the love and joy of riding Ducati motorcycles and all the aspects. So if you're all about that, click the subscribe button. But today we're talking a about a really important subject, especially for me, for as you guys know, I travel all around the world, especially on this bike. It's my main commuter, track bike, uh, group ride. I do everything on this bike. And we want to talk about tuning. So Russell and I, we've been communicating back and forth. He's with RTB Motors, and I've heard plenty of people in Arizona get getting their bikes mapped and tuned from him. So we were waiting specifically for the right time and moment to get uh, to have a portable scanner to scan my bike and then do some mapping. So obviously I'm not the mapping or tuning quiz, Russell is here, so he's gonna explain us the fundamentals. Either way, we're here to go through some different steps about the tuning and what I need to learn and know about tuning my motorcycle and also about the portable flasher. So again, Russell, thank you for having us over in your beautiful home and also studio here with both our bikes. And I find this really unique because Russell has a Penegale V2, which I like to call the baby V2 Superleggera because he has it completely tricked out, which he's gonna tell us about all his modifications. But real quick, man, Russell, just uh, step me through your who you are and why you decided to get in the industry and obviously the modifications and the benefits of tuning your motorcycle. Cool, so uh, thank you for coming over. Uh, we've been talking back and forth to set up a collaboration, so finally it's happening. Yeah, I mean, it's um, Got into the tuning uh, almost organically. I purchased the Van Diemen exhaust for my uh, Panigale and was looking for a tuner to provide me with a proper tune to accommodate the changes that I made to the bike. And everybody pointed me to Daniel, the owner of uh, Deussen Engines over in Germany. So got a hold of him, uh, he sent me his flasher to be able to tune this bike, got the custom map loaded to my bike and I couldn't believe the difference. It, it just completely changed my bike. It, it, it was phenomenal going from stock to fully tuned with a full exhaust. So through, through that collaboration, uh, we decided to partner up and I became his US Canada distributor for his portable flashers and in-person tuning. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, because I mean, as you guys know, we follow a lot of uh, what we do on social media. And I've been seeing Russell riding and tuning and making his motorcycle and all the experiences he's been going through. And I kind of want to do the same with mine since I'm riding and commuting my bike all the time. So real quick, for all the newbies out there who are new to tuning and mapping on the motorcycles, what are, what's like the ABCs of the benefits of why you should get your map or your bike tuned with a mapping? So Ducati does a great job tuning these bikes from factories. And obviously the exhaust that come in these bikes, that's what the mapping is for. So as soon as you change the exhaust on these, it's preferably to do a custom tune. Therefore, it will be accommodated for. And also all power restrictions will be unlo uh, unlocked. So there is no more power restriction through the gearing. Uh, the bike will run cooler, air, fuel, spark, everything gets adjusted on these bikes. The quick shifter will work better. And the overall, the, the graph for the power for torque and horsepower is a lot smoother. So the bike will feel more synchronized. It will bypass all of the emissions and regulations that Ducati has to obey by to be able to sell these bikes to consumers. And it will make your machine really, really powerful. It will make your bike the way you thought you're getting it from Ducati when you're buying it. And you'll enjoy it, man. It will be awesome. Yeah, that's really a feeling I'm looking forward to, especially with this model, because I've been trying a bunch of different things. As you guys know, I'm running a special decatalyzer resonator from Powerworks Racing all the way from Spain. So that's made my bike, uh, in a sense, a little bit, in my sense, a little bit faster. It runs a little bit more richer, but I get those nice snaps and pops and cracks. But what I really wanted with uh, you guys and uh, Doyce and Tuning was a little bit more versatility because I do a lot of obviously traveling. I go on the track and I go up and down different elevations. So I just wanted an overall perspective of a smooth mapping for my bike. So that's why uh, Russell invited me over and that's why we're gonna do a quick scanning here in a little bit. But real quick, tell me, um, the from from when you had your bike stock and then obviously all the mods you did and then when you tuned it like the benefits and like what you noticed immediately after tuning your beautiful v2 so the biggest thing that i've noticed right off the bat was uh power restrictions were completely gone so the bike has full power through all of the gears and these bikes are notorious from having flat spots in the low rpm range so that was one of the things that were just completely went away uh, on top of them, they get very hot. 
So with the, with the proper custom mapping, the bike's operating temperature is a lot cooler as well. Quick shifter was definitely uh, smoothed out as well. And the entire bike is not as jittery, is not as shaky. It just feels and operates smooth. Bypass EVAP canister, what everybody knows about with these bikes. So it, the benefits are just phenomenal. I actually couldn't believe the difference it made going from stock to a proper tune with a good exhaust. Hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting and because also I've seen all these other people that you've been tuning here in Arizona, but also all over the United States. How many motorcycles have you tuned or like how long have you been tuning motorcycles for and how many have you tuned here in Phoenix, but also in uh, the United States? So I set up the partnership with Doyson in about January of 2023. So, you know, we're in about eight, nine months working together yeah. and I've personally tuned uh, 20, about 25 bikes in the club. Shout out Ducati Phoenix Club, the best club in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as Portable plashers, I would say about 100 customers uh, nationwide in the US. Wow, 100. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And have you had any like feedback or people that wanted like more specific tuning or were they just like, man, it was like a day and night difference? Most people that reach out uh, already change the exhaust or about to change the exhaust so they know that having a custom map will just tremendously help their bike. Yeah. Uh, the biggest feedback I get from people is that the way the bike feels is how they thought it would when they first bought it, Yeah. right? So with just the change of the exhaust and the proper mapping, yeah. the power is, is one of the other one. The yeah. fact that you no longer have a restricted power through the gear uh, and the smoothness. Yeah, it just un like un unlocks the motor, I feel like, from it is. It, everything you're saying. That's yeah. right, it just yeah. makes the bike the way it should have been. Yeah, which is super cool. I'm like really excited to have that, especially on this bike, since I ride all the time. I'm like super sensitive with everything about that. So I see that you've given me here, we have a Doyson engine portable flasher, yes. which is really cool. And then this is the connector to it. Yeah, so that, that is the cable to plug in into your ECU port to be able to uh, scan your motorcycle. This is a portable flasher uh, made by them sport from Doyson engines and also works as a scanner so if you have a code on your bike check engine light comes on you'll be able to scan the bike and clear the code as well awesome so what are we gonna do to my bike right now so right now we're going to plug in the portable flasher and scan the ECU ID the ECU and send it to Daniel over in Germany therefore he'll use that scan to be able to create a custom tune specific to your motorcycle awesome cool so as he just said, we're gonna scan this bike and in this series, we're gonna do like probably part two, three, and four because we're also gonna do a documentary of everyone else in Phoenix who got their bike scanned and also tuned by RTB Motors because we wanna be able to see, I'd like to see the difference. Obviously every bike is different, but I'd like to know the tune on your bike versus my bike versus a Pentagali and, and be able to share that whole you know, ambiance and uh, I guess we could say tuning family now. So let me pop this off got real this. quick. Yeah, thank you. Removing the rear seats. So how long does it uh, normally take to, for, for us to scan this? The process is fairly simple. You will have to install a software on your PC. Okay. Uh, once that is installed, the actual scanning uh, ID of your motorcycle takes about a minute to up to two. Okay, cool. So what am I looking here for a newbie like myself when you're tearing into your bike and I wanna plug this in properly? So the red port that you see right here, that's for your ECU and it has a dust cover on it that we will be removing. Okay. Here we go. And this is where you'll plug in the provided cable and the flasher right into it. Okay, that's pretty simple. There you Boom, go. It just turns on like that, wow. So for someone like myself who gets this flasher, and if you weren't here, thank God you're here, but now you could, um, we could step through the actual procedure of flashing the bike, so. And the process is very simple. The instruction sheet will come with the flasher and oh, it's yeah. also emailed to you with the receipt. It's a step-by-step -step process, okay. which will you work it through the flasher, it will identify with your motorcycle, your specific model, which would be the Multistrada before. Right. So it's saying right here, I just like the Ducati, mm -hmm. and go down and get Multistrada V4, very cool. Okay, click continue. Mm -hmm. It's asking us to turn on the That's bike, right? So you click that bike and turn on the bike. And you'll follow all the prompts on the screen. Oh, that makes it like kind of user friendly to set up. Yep. I thought it'd be like really complicated where I had to have like my computer plugged in with like a flasher and then there's all these codes and stuff like that. Well, cause as you know, I'm like on the road all the time. I don't want to have to deal with that. So yeah, now you have to turn it off. So it's setting up again. Turn it back on. And turning it back on. Wow, that's really neat. 
And what are the benefits of having a small flash like this as well? Like, cause I know you could just like, if someone came to you and they just wanted to tune and then you wouldn't have to have a flasher, but like myself having a flash like this, like what are the benefits? The, one of the best benefits about having the portable flasher is the fact that you could load the stock tune back on your bike at any point. So if you have to take your bike to a Ducati for an ECU update, you could load the stock tune back on yourself without having to contact me or anyone else. Oh, nice. Oh look, it's already done already. Wow, that was quick. Yep, we're good awesome. to go. All right, sweet. So I'm gonna just leave this right here and I'm gonna let you disconnect it and then we're gonna send this off. Um, we're gonna send this off to Daniel at Dois and Engines over in Germany. And he's gonna actually have the full scan of my bike now and see how my actual ECU and everything reacts to my Powerworks racing. And then we're gonna get that scan or that mapping back, right, within uh, like a, a few, we always say it 12 hours to allow 12 hours um, unless he's on the road traveling because he does build race bikes that he races himself. Okay, cool, yep. yeah. So real enthusiast, so you gotta give him time to live his own life as well, which is really cool. And that's we'll one of that the reasons hours. why I wanted to partner up with him because yeah. he's like you and I, man. He, he bleeds red. He yeah, loves Ducatis, good. he builds them and races them. He yeah. owns a track ready Panigale AV2 as well. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. And that's why I love working with like, you know, Ducati enthusiasts and Ducati bikers like yourself and also him because it's just like, if you're able to share that intention and those emotions on how his tuning, all the tunings you guys done to your Ducati motorcycles to share and make my bike even better, that's what we strive for. It's just like more passion. It's like icing on the cake and, you know, cherry on top and all that stuff, which is really cool. So for most of you guys who are just tuning in, uh, make sure you stay in tune for part two and three because we'll probably do the update of the mapping for part two once we get the actual mapping back of the tune from the flash that we just did. And then we also want to do another video where we're going to pick out a few other Ducati owner uh, group riders who've gotten their bike tuned by you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a ride around in comparison and maybe just like a little bit of revving noise content for the exhaust because uh, that's what we do as well, but really cool. But yeah, man, thanks for that. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna send this over to Daniel right now. And then guys, stay ready and stay tuned for part two of RTB Motors with Ducati Biker. Thanks, buddy.